Everybody's hearing about omega-3 oils and how important they are to be healthy. Chickens are even eating them. We see these pricey omega-3 eggs in the grocery store now. I think I even saw them in Safeway. <laughs> no, that's a good one. That's right. They're everywhere because people are beginning to appreciate the importance of essential fatty acids. That's right. That's yeah, good. So they feed the chickens healthy seeds. That's right. So omega-3s have many crucial functions in the body. And now a new study shows that the DHA, essential fatty acid, that's in the omega-3 oils helps to promote sleep. What a healthy sleeping aid. Yeah, well, it's all right. Why not take something that's good for you that'll help you get to sleep in a natural way? So pass the salmon. That's it. You got it. That's right. <laughs> There's plenty of omega-3s in, in salmon, especially DHA. In fact, the richest source of DHA is tuna. So if you can get tuna without the mercury in it, it's a good way to go. <laughs> what other foods can you get omega-3s in? Oh, seeds and nuts uh, certainly are rich in it. Those are the vegetable sources. And, of course, fish uh, is, a, is a good place to get it, particularly the cold water fish. And that's where we get the bulk of it. I think there was a study that was done in the Journal of Sleep Research in March of, three, of 2014 from the University of Oxford. And what they showed on 362 kids that were between the ages of seven and nine, if they gave them about 600 milligrams of DHA a day for about 16 weeks, that they slept better. They found that about 40% of the kids, believe it or not, had problems with their sleep. So that was a big finding. You know, that's too bad that so many children have trouble sleeping. But I think a lot of the reasons oh. that they do are similar reasons to why Big Adults people. Have <laughs> big people. That's exactly right. You know, right. if they have pain or anxiety or depression or they're overstimulated by some of the technology that, that they're doing, if they have some sort of fear, if their diets aren't right, or maybe even if they're just trying to get attention from their parents, yeah. you know? We have this overly simplistic <laughs> way of dealing with symptoms, which, of course, insomnia is a symptom. Uh, we don't have a deficiency of of different kinds of sleeping pills in our body or even of supplements that uh, are that will help us to sleep. But you know, one of the things that I think that this just follows uh, well with um, the children having trouble sleeping and how the, the uh, omega-3s help them is that it's good for your brain. <laughs> and it even works on children that have ADD or ADHD. Oh, for sure. So think about it. If it calms them for that, well, it helps them to focus and so forth. Well, the baby actually, I mean, people have about 60% fat in their brain if they're healthy. So when somebody calls you a fat fat head, it's a compliment. <laughs> you know, well, it's probably it's not in their mind a compliment. <laughs> but indeed, if you have those essential fatty acids there, everything is going to work better. So we want to make sure that we take those in. And like, like we said, the fish and the... And the uh, seeds and nuts are the important things that we consume. Flaxseed oil is probably one of the ones that's the most commonly used. And it has something called alpha-linolenic acid that leads to making DHA and EPA. And it also, on the omega-6 side, uh, has linoleic acid, which degrades or is, is converted into gamma-linolenic acid, or GLA, and arachidonic acid, all things that we need to have. And when you look at kids who have ADD or ADHD, they have a deficiency in the enzymes that are necessary to process that alpha-linolenic acid on the omega-3 side and the linoleic acid on the omega-6 side. So they wind up with symptoms that are hyperactivity. Uh, they, they, they're hard to control. They, they have night blindness. Their skin is not waterproof well. Uh, they are dyslexic. And yet and they, most of the doctors don't even think to give them these healthy oils. They no. give them drugs and like Ritalin. Oh, and right. Serta. No, David Horbin probably published close to 2,000 papers uh, on essential fatty acids, and he was a big proponent of treating kids with ADD with a product called Effalex, which is made by the company Effamol, and should be the first line of treatment in everybody who has ADD or ADHD, not the drugs that have so many potential side effects. So let's talk about some of the other benefits of omega-3s while we're at it. 
Oh, right. Well, like it's good for your heart, for one thing. It's an antiarrhythmic, so if you have cardiac arrhythmias, it could be good, good for that. Yeah, it's and, a great anticoagulant. Yeah, it, and it, it's an antidepressant. Uh-huh. It's good. It helps your joint pain. It's a great... I like to think of it as it's kind of like it oils your joints. Yeah, well, it's a great anti-inflammatory agent, too. So if your body is inflamed because you have osteoarthritis, one of the first things you should do is be thinking about making sure you're getting enough essential fatty acids in. It's even good for f fatigue, mm -hmm. to reduce cancer uh -huh. risks. It's good for the neurotransmitters in the brain. It helps reduce your risk for type 2 diabetes. I mean, these are oils that are relatively inexpensive that we should be able to, we, we must be taking in on a regular basis. And when the U.S. Department of Agriculture studied this on three occasions on tens of thousands of people, they found that 95% of the population was deficient in these essential fatty acids. And they make you smart. <laughs> they make so you smart. So be smart and take them. <laughs> exactly. So, yes, uh, <laughs> essential fatty acids are great for insomnia. They're great for a lot of whole other things, a lot of other things as well. So either get your essential fatty acids through flaxseed oil, a couple of tablespoons a day or about six of the oil or about six tablespoons of the seeds that are put into a, a grinder, a coffee grinder, is a good way to get it. Or else get it from fish, uh, from fish oil or from evening primrose oil. If you do that, chances are you're going to have a whole lot better uh, life in terms of quality of life and you may sleep better as well. <laughs>